Hey everybody, this is Shannon with Journey to Peace. And today I want to talk about a little thing I like to call hangxiety. So, you had a little bit to drink last night and this morning you woke up feeling a little out of sorts. I'm not just talking about the typical headache and queasy stomach. I'm referring to those of us who wake up with a racing mind and pounding heart. You may even be experiencing a feeling of dread or maybe replaying every single thing you said last night. You may be even checking your text to make sure you didn't send anything while your inhibitions were lowered. This, my friend, is called anxiety. It's not your typical hangover, and not everyone experiences this overwhelming feeling of dread, worry, and anxiety after a night of drinking and letting your guard down. But if you're someone like me, this may sound familiar. It turns out, for those of us who experience this overwhelming anxiety after a night of drinking, it may be due to a mild version of alcohol withdrawal. There is an article by self.com that explains this phenomenon beautifully and I'll include it in the links below um, because it's such a great description of what this is. In that article, they explain that when it comes to anxiety, the most significant neurotransmitters that are affected by alcohol is GABA, so G-A-B-A. GABA is a naturally occurring amino acid that works as a neurotransmitter in your brain. What it's there to do is to block certain signals and decrease activity in your nervous system. So it plays a really important role in the body's response to stress. As someone who has experienced high levels of anxiety my whole life, I became very intrigued by this particular neurotransmitter when I first learned of it because it plays a role in anxiety disorders. Basically, GABA is meant to lower the activity of neural cells in the brain and central system, facilitating sleep, reducing mental and physical stress, it lowers anxiety levels, and creates a calmness in your mood. If you have low GABA activity in the body, that can result in anxiety, chronic stress, and depression, among other things. Okay, so what does this mean for my crippling anxiety after having a few brews with my pals? Here's the thing. Alcohol increases the GABA activity in the brain, which is why you get that relaxed, calming feeling when you drink. However, your brain, being the little smarty that it is, tries to adapt to these changes. So when you stop drinking, you're left with a brain that's been adapting to alcohol sedative effects. Once you stop drinking, the influx of GABA goes away. When it goes away, it takes with it the feelings of calm and relaxation, and the absence of that can provoke anxiety. So, here we are. If you are here because this resonates with you, what I want you to do is go get a big cold glass of orange juice if you have it. I found this works for me, especially if your blood sugar is low and is causing a bit of shakiness, which can kickstart anxiety. Trust me, I've tried everything and one of the biggest things that helps is anxiety reduction techniques. Of course, my favorite is meditation. So feel free to pause this video, go get in some super cozy clothes, grab a blanket, maybe even your favorite candle, turn the lights a little bit lower, and then when you're ready, click the link to the anxiety meditation. I wrote it special just for you, just for those of us who experience those horrible feelings after having a wonderful night of drinking. And hopefully you had fun last night and enjoyed yourself um, and had some laughs, but unfortunately for some of us, those pesky GABA neurotransmitters just, when they leave our body, it leaves us feeling shaky and anxious and our heart beats a little faster. And so I have written a meditation just for you and um, I hope that it helps you feel a little bit better. And as always, thank you so much for joining me on this journey to peace. 
and if no one's told you yet today, I think that you are absolutely amazing and you bring something so, so special and unique to this world and I'm happy that you're here. I hope you start to feel better and just remember that tomorrow is going to feel a lot better than today and the day after that is going to feel even better. I'll see you guys tomorrow.